Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The SSR is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights for August 24. This one is a list of paid systems and tools. In the last video, I already covered the best three new assets, and next one I'll be covering top visuals and effects. As always, there's links to the assets in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. You know, it is less than a month away. This is Unity's yearly conference where they have lots of interesting talks teaching you how to use all kinds of Unity tools and features while also talking about the future of the engine. You can already view the entire session list. There's over 60 sessions covering everything from graphics, multiplayer, dots, and a whole bunch more. I will actually be there myself alongside other Unity insiders. It is happening next month, September 18 to 20 in Barcelona. You can use this discount code to get 20% off your ticket. It should be a fun time with lots of learning. So if you're going and you see me walking around, definitely come along and say hi. All right, so starting off with another awesome asset from an excellent publisher, here is All-in-One Springs. This one is by the same developer that made the excellent All-in-One Sprite Shader and the All-in-One VFX Toolkit. This new pack, just like those two, is very well made. The component is easy to use, and this one also has excellent demos just like those two. This one, like name implies, is all about Springs. It helps you easily add bounce to your objects. This is a super easy way to add a ton of polish to your games. Whenever an enemy or an object gets hit, don't just make it stay still, make it bounce back in a really satisfying manner. You can add just one spring or you can add multiple. So in the case of a humanoid, you can add springs to various body parts to make it look really nice and jiggly. You can easily control it through the custom inspector or through a single line of code. So this is a really great asset for easily adding a ton of polish to your games. And since polish is the thing that separates good games from great games, that is definitely very much worth it. So if you're during the polish stage of one of your games, definitely look into this one. Next, here's an interesting tool for helping you organize your assets. This one is called Easy Workspace, and basically it gives you an empty board where you can easily drag and drop some assets. They are then visible within that board, and then you can organize them in any way you see fit. So you can drag single assets, like a scribble object or a model or a prefab. Alternatively, you can also drag entire folders and easily access them. They all have nice square boxes where you can easily resize all of those containers to make them look exactly as you want it. So this one really looks like it can be an excellent time saver, especially as your project grows and you have tons and tons of assets split over many, many folders. In that case, having just one or multiple workspace for different types, like different levels, different biomes, different scenes, and so on. For that, it seems like this can be really quite useful. I'm actually surprised that it has no review so far. It does look like it is very useful. Next, if you want to destroy some voxels, look at Voxel Destruction Pro. This one lets you directly import Magicka voxel files, so you can build something then easily important. Or of course, you can generate the voxel data directly inside Unity. Then with those voxels, you can destroy them in a super fast and very satisfying manner. This is all running multi-thread code, so it is insanely fast. It's using greedy meshing in order to minimize the polygon count. It also bakes the colliders, it does some voxel searching and creates some fragments. So it is a very well-built tool, very well-built in terms of usability and in terms of speed. With this, I imagine you could make a game kind of like Battlefield 3 with a ton of destruction. Just make all your buildings into voxels and then you can blow them up with some rockets or C4. Next, here we have an actually useful AI tool called Pose AI. Nowadays, AI is really more hype than reality, but this one does seem to be an actual productive use case for AI. It's essentially a tool to help you pose characters. So you move just a single bone and the AI algorithm automatically moves all of the connect bones in a way that makes sense. So for example, if you just want to make the character sit, you can just move the feet, the hands and the head, that's it. And then all the other bones, they will all move automatically in a way that makes sense. So there's no need to manually move the forearm bone, the upper thighs, the shoulders and so on. Just move the main ones, just the edges and everything else won't look correct. This can really be a massive time saver as opposed to manually moving each bone individually. And this one is also apparently using Unity Barracuda, which is now known as Synthes. So it's also really great to see a practical use case for that tool. And by the way, quick mention, Unity also has a similar AI animation tool. It is part of their Muse toolset, so if you have that one already, maybe give that one a try. Then here's one that I've heard great things about. It's the Ultimate Editor Enhancer. I'm pretty sure I've seen this before, so I think this is a new version. And for some reason, it shows up to me as completely free. So I wonder if it's a new version that is a free upgrade to owners of previous versions. This one basically enhances the editor in many different ways. It helps you with searching, with placing objects, with snapping. It adds some colors to the hierarchy. It adds multiple icons, multiple filters. The inspector also has a bunch more of improvements. So this really adds a ton of stuff, way too many for me to mention. This is definitely one of those tools that if you take the time to learn, it can massively help speed up your development process. Next, here's another excellent simple helper editor tool. It is called Sub Asset Toolbox. 
Unity actually has a really awesome thing that very few people ever use, which are indeed sub-assets. This is how you can place assets as child objects of other assets. Now, if you import something like an FBX file or a multi-sprite image, you can actually see that in action. You can expand that asset and you see inside of it, it has child assets. Now, the reason why not many people use it is because it is pretty complex to make it work. I remember researching this topic myself a few years ago, and I remember it was quite a mess. So this asset lets you add that ability by simply dragging and dropping. This can be a really great boost to organization on a large project. For example, if you have some kind of quest that is made up of multiple subquests, you can just make them child of the main quest scriptable object. Or if you have some sort of modular weapon system, you can place those modules as child objects of the weapon SO. That would be a very designer-friendly way of creating both weapons and weapon modules. You can also simply organize assets related to a type, like for example, inside some kind of weapon SO, Inside it, you would have the material, the sprite, and whatever else belongs directly just to that type. So it's a simple tool that can be extremely useful. Then if your game is on a sphere, look at this asset called Better Transform for Spheres. This one is a simple tool that just adds some buttons to your transform component to let you easily snap objects onto the surface of a sphere. It is obviously so much easier to just click a button than having to painstakingly move and rotate every single object. So I could see this being a huge time saver in building a game, kind of like Mario Galaxy or Animal Crossing. You just drag and drop all your objects, so your objects, trees, props, houses, characters, and so on, and then simply press a button and they will all snap automatically. So very simple, and like I said, very useful if you're making some kind of planetary game. Next, if you use a ton of scriptable objects, here is scriptable sheets. You can take whatever scriptable object you have with whatever that is on them, and simply display them in a huge, nicely organized spreadsheet. You can open multiple sheets at once, it correctly shows all of the field types, like the strings, the object fields, color objects, animation curves, and so on. It can also help you spawn multiple instances of a certain scriptable object type. You can import and export into CSV or other formats. It also supports pagination, search, filters, keyboard navigation, and a bunch more. So if your game has a ton of data, then this doesn't look quite useful. Or perhaps if you simply just want to find some stuff, here is any object finder. With this one, you can simply search for any objects of any type anywhere. Importantly, it helps you find objects directly inside the scenes themselves, which is actually sometimes a pain. You can select what filters you want to search, you can add all kinds of filtering, and you can even save custom search. Then, if you want to polish your game with swarms of objects, here is a tool to help you do that. It is a simple system for creating swarms. You can create swarms or flocks or groups, and the objects themselves can be whatever you want. So these could be birds, could be fish, could be aliens. It comes with 10 separate behavior modules, so you can get exactly the behavior you want, or you can also just customize it with your own custom behavior. All right, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity Asset Store for August 24. There's a link to all in the description, and as bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. All right, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.